Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the result of your vote. You guys wanted to see the Krug being built. So it's Trump tier kit, 135th. It's the Soviet Tukia 11R TEL. That's Transport Erector Launcher with a 9M8M missile Krug. Krug is a Russian force circle and I think they're referring to the circle of its uh, range basically it will kill anything in there nice box art these things are really old as well they're like 1950 stuff there's nothing operational just note this here as well in the corner that is their um, tracking radar as well why didn't they make a kit of that that would be awesome purchased this kit in russia got a pretty good price for it pretty normal sort of price yeah you got some uh, basically sort of like layout there um PE not too much schemes are what they are let's uh, open it up and see what we get inside of course I've already had a look inside and crazy as soon as I got this thing I had a look inside right okay this is it basically instructions and as per usual trumpets here provide you with of course some nice uh, color layouts we'll look at them separately let's count out the bags and then i'll open up all the bags so we've got inside here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. Loads of individual tracks. So that's basically that. And then I'll put these other bits inside here. This is the lower hull. Come back to that, that's the best bit. Upper hull. Also, this uh, TEL, the chassis, I think it's called G4M or something like that. It's the same as the Cassia self propelled gun. Slide molded parts more hero parts i'll come on to them later on i don't want to spoil it for you another individually bagged part another individually bagged part photo etch sprue very small which is nice it's a good thing isn't it and we've got a tiny sprue which has got periscopes and the headlights also we have decal sheet most of the decals as we'll see are from the rockets right okay here comes these are the hero parts straight away i'll tell you i am impressed if you have a look at my build of the grumble you see that i was very very happy to find out that the launch tubes were molded uh basically one part as are these rockets so let's open up the bags i'll show you what's inside all the bits and pieces it's all pretty standard it's all pretty good the usual trumpeteer stuff so i'll just show you briefly what's inside there so we can uh, uh, just nail this review okay let's kick off with the instructions have a quick rip through this see how much there is to it quite a bit usual trumpeteer thing there's our parts map pretty handy i like a parts map don't know about you guys but i like to see you know what i've got sometimes i can tick off bits and pieces and also you know that you've got everything in the box or otherwise so starts off in construction of a chassis this is the same chassis as the akatsia self-propelled gun can't remember the exact designation uh individual track links are included it's telling you to build up 117 per side and then uh the usual sort of foible is adding detail to your upper hull and then later on like loads of detail going on through these steps and then step 16 you join the upper and lower hull of course that's not the way we shall do it as a more experienced model obviously you want to get that join nice and clean before adding on all the little delicate details okay so then we go on some pe parts more details get added on to the hull and then we come to the cradle for the missiles 
that that gets sort of detailed with bits and pieces. Um, I don't know, it may or may not be optional, but there isn't any call outs for non glue or anything. Might just have to have a look carefully at those parts here in this stage. Then that cradle gets joined on, and then this is the uh, the erector launcher component. Don't know, I think this might be movable. Not quite too sure. More bits get added on. More bits get added on. So quite a few steps there with the um, the hydraulic erector component. Yeah, still quite a lot more to go on there. Now it's calling out there no cement, so we can sort of maybe assume that this part here will be movable, if that's necessary for you. And uh, yeah, one of these hydraulic uh, rams here is also calling out no cement. But uh, you know, it's up to you how you build these things. I tend to go for security, as in I want the build nice and you know very well firmly constructed i'm not really interested in movements uh this is pretty good this step here is calling out to add in uh either control cables or control lines or power cables into the back of that erector launch and it shows you how they're configured in that step there i was expecting to have to add those details from scratch using cables and wire but they, they're included as plastic parts Stage 42, we're building the missiles from a few components. And we'll repeat that twice. And then finally, by step 44, we're joining the missiles to the TEL. And then finally, the TEL goes onto the chassis. So that's our steps, 45 steps. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot to it. Let's start going through actually all the parts. Or no, let's quickly... I'll just show you the paint guide rather briefly. Um, let's see, calls out Russian green with the missiles in a steel type color or a gray color. And then there's alternative markings for, I think that's East Germany and a Czech version. Some difference in the coloring of the missiles there with the sort of end caps in red. And actually a separate painting guide entirely dedicated to the missile because there's lots of stencils and details that goes on there. We'll check those decals out. Okay, let's get into the parts. Uh, see what we've got. Okay, so a lot of this is going to be duplicated. So I don't need to show you everything. But this is typical trumpeteer that you get these smaller sprues and they contain maybe the, all the facets of let's say the road wheels and the um the stub axles etc so you get multiples of that component and you can see the detail within the road wheels they're pretty good yeah so you're getting um six off on that on the on this version no you're getting three off and these wheels are actually in pairs um the wheels as well um they have the rubberized markings sort of depicted on them. Um, so don't get stressed, that isn't actually flash, it's um, how they look. But of course you can depict wear on them by sanding them off. Uh, let's see this, this looks like the drive sprockets and idler sprue with some other detail components on it. Really nice sharp details. You can actually feel when you put your finger against them that they're all sharp. There's some detail there with, it's even got perforations in it. I'm not sure what component that is. And some of the Pioneer tools. Everything's crisp. So I've got two off of that sprue there. Um, and as I pointed out, you get this really good protective wrapping uh, to protect delicate components. So underneath here, you've got smaller parts that could be damaged and they package them well. The trumpeteer packaging is the best, basically, because you've got individual bags and you've got the extra layers of protection. Also, you've got a very strong cardboard box uh, and that cannot be a bad thing. So details on their various parts. There's a duplicate there of those sprues that we looked at. Let's see what's in this one. 
This one to me, yeah, this looks like the transporter erector launcher. Here's the cradle for the missiles. Um, they've actually depicted all the components in one single molding. Quite surprised about that. I was expecting this to be multiple pieces, but um, I'm not going to complain if that's good enough. This is the unditching log here. This is the older way of doing it. Um, they have it in two halves that need to be joined together. In the later, in some other kits, you've got this in a very soft, like rubberized plastic, and it's one piece, as in one molding, not not two halves that need to be glued together. There's some more details there. Uh, these are parts of the ramjet boosters, I think, or. The solid mode, I don't know how the missile works itself, but these are the components that are added onto the rockets. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll come back to them when we look at the rockets. Uh, here are the fenders for the uh, chassis of the vehicle. Pretty good. Nice detailing on here, some tread plate detail. Underneath, devoid of detail, where there would be actually some sort of ribbing, possibly under here and a few uh, KO marks, but these are pretty easy to get rid of, and you know, that that's that's where you expect to find them, so that's okay. We've got light guards here, they look pretty good actually, quite nice and thin, and more details on there. I think, uh, yeah, this is a sim, I think the sprue we've seen before, maybe some idlers, some extra parts, so there's quite a lot of individual sprue components for sure. tracks we've got bags and bags of them but uh, no need to show you basically this is what you get you get a tree with um, one two three four five six seven eight individual track links on them they all need to be snipped off and glued together we've got some individually bagged sprues with some components uh, for whatever reason they look slide molded actually to me um parts of the launcher or whatever just parts but just don't lose them trumpeteer always seem to provide i think nearly all their kits you've got clear optics and you've got clear headlights on a transparent sprue very small one for this kit here's the photo etch fret not really too much on this one just some grills basically um i like the approach with the photo etch with trumpeteer you get what should be in photo etch and then some of the very very small details are also depicted in, in photo etch as well very manageable amount obviously and some more separate components here as well this is um, slide mode again this looks like the main body of the um, erector launcher here Now, may as well talk about it now. These are my like hero parts, as I like to call them, the, the larger components. And this is uh, yeah, a dedicated SA4 um, chassis. You can see all the detail they put on the lower hull there, all underneath. Um, also, it's very firm as well. There's no, very rarely, or if ever, have I seen any warpage on these parts because they're admirably thick. Uh, clunky sort of parts I mean not clunky in detail but they're thick plastic as you can see so you haven't got any of the um, in some cases you can get warpage on some of the manufacturers but I have not encountered it on Trumpeteer and of course the upper hull a little bit thinner but also you know all the strength is there um, to give you basically an idea of the size of the vehicle straight away so there it is very nice low profile vehicle and uh, i think a point to note as well we can see that this is the erector launcher on there and it doesn't sort of sit in like a turret i think it just sits freely on top into that portion there okay now these are the parts that most impress me about the entire kit um check out my grumble build if you're interested in uh, to, uh, surface air weaponry but they've slide molded the rockets um, 
which is really, really excellent. So we don't need to deal with the seam per se. Uh, we don't need to join two parts together to make this tubular rocket. It's already done for us. However, we have got the mold lines there that we need to clean up and we need to do that very carefully. But honestly, this is really, really fantastic. Of course, it adds to the price of the kit because you've got these slide molded parts but look at them, they are superb. And to note as well, the rear fins, two off are molded on. Look at how thin they are. They really are complementary. So we can go back to this sprue now. These are the ancillaries. And again, we've got really finely detailed, very thin fins, you know, in scale, which is what we want. Now the boosters of which I think there's Four, I think that go around the missiles these are traditional um, you know glue together two sides clean up the seam etc but the fact that you've got these is just excellent I think this is this is the uh, the highlight of the kit for me to get like nice parts like so in addition we've also got the the um, the tip of the the rocket the warhead component as well which sits in within like so because it's a ramjet and it gives you that effect as well you've got the depth there to show the ramjet uh, intake and these are again of course slide molded one piece and the fit is superb obviously from dry you can see how they look uh, really really admirable um, nice to see that when you get a kit like this i think that's that's all the component the only thing i didn't show you was the decal sheet and um i think yeah this is i just need to get this off the backing take that off there so it's got a protective sheet on here and yeah this is the um obviously the majority of the markings are for the rockets themselves uh point to note here they've got this word uh yeah this is um yeah yeah Uchibnik, yeah i'm a, i'm training and this is um I th it's designating the missiles as training rounds so inert weapons so bear that in mind that um the markings that they put on the the decal sheet and i think let's just check again but on here as well if they've got the call out um, Uchebnaya, it means that it's it's not a live round, it's like an inert round for training. So if you want to do an operational vehicle, just bear that in mind and do not use these decals. However, of course, you know, you look at your own references and bits and pieces. But, uh, you know, trumpeteer decals, pretty good. Um, anyways, that is basically the kit. Um, I've got as well, of course, I've got the Master Club individual track links in white metal with the pins as well there's no point really reviewing these uh just to say that they are absolutely excellent and i've i've got these to help me to build this and i'll explain that obviously when we do go into the build but all in all a it's quite an expensive kit but a really rather awesome one um for you guys that like your um soviet era surface to air missile sets so we'll get building this and hope you enjoyed the review.